What it do, YouTube? What do these two boxes, this 75 cent can opener, and yours truly all have to do with each other? What's up? My name is Paul the Fifth. 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 Real quick before I get started, just wanted to let you know that I am kind of forgetful and I have a hard time seeing things. I forgot my normal box cutter at home and I ordered this new shirt from Amazon. I thought I was getting a large but I ordered a medium, so it's a little short, but I like the way it looks. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of these mics, but down here, the Warm 87, I'm gonna throw it on a stand, set it up as a mono overhead for my drums, see what that sounds like. In upcoming videos, I'm gonna be using that, as well as some other warm audio mics on acoustic guitar and vocal. I'm bringing some friends in and we're gonna be showing you some gain staging. We're gonna be doing acoustic guitar and vocals. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But before we get started, it is time for this show real. Yo, my name is Paul the Fear. So it seems that unboxing is a thing these days. You have seen me unbox some previous videos of my Mac Mini and my MacBook Pro. I'm going to go ahead and do this one rather quickly. There's nothing too exciting in here. Just some knockoff 57s. But I am doing a video on miking drums with nothing but those cheap 57s. This bad boy here is the star of today's show. Let's go ahead and do this. And anything that you do in life or for work, it's always important to have the necessary and handy tools to help you accomplish your task, right? Well, I don't have that today, so I'm trying to be a Studio MacGyver and use this cheap, cheap bottle opener to help me open up this box. Let's do it. This is the SL75C. I've got two of these. This is the Behringer version of the Shure SM57. One. Here's the other one. Kind of cool. It comes with this like nice handy carrying case thing. And for the next 57 knockoff, I have five Pile microphones. I don't need, I've never heard of them, but I found them online on Amazon, so here they are. Here's what they look like. Six, eight, four, five. Bam. So now I've got seven 57 knockoffs. I'll use those in another video to show you how I mic drums exclusively with them to see how they sound. Now let's go ahead and open up the prize for today. My warm audio 87. That's weird. I'm not expecting anybody right now or today. Wonder who that could be. Um, oh, hey. Wow. Yeah, hey. Um, special Come on in. Bro. Who is it? Paul the fifth. Is it okay if I wow, dude, come on you in? Look a lot. Wow, yeah, then he looked a lot up. like me. What's your My name? name? Paul the fifth. Cool. My name is Paul the fourth. Maybe we can collaborate on some stuff. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's for sure collab cool. sometime. Well. Yeah, I think that would be super box. dope. Sorry. What do you guys think? Been open, I'm not sure. Uh, but everything. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Paul the fourth. Maybe we can start a new partnership and have some cool videos. Well, let's see what's in here. Okay. Oh yeah. This is my new Warm Audio 47 Junior. Yes, I can't wait to try this out. And the moment I have been waiting for, time to open up the Warm 87 box. 
I know I say it on my previous videos to cut away from yourself, but this is not a box cutter. This is a 75 cent bottle opener. I don't think this thing is strong enough or sharp enough to even cut me or hurt me. Man. Here's all our sweet water brochures and stuff. And there it is. So now I have two warm audio mics, the 87 and the 47 Junior. I'm gonna try these out coming up on some videos featuring acoustic guitar and vocals. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see where this takes these recordings. Oh yeah, can't forget your sweet water bag of goodies and sweets. It is time for me to play some drums for you. I'm going to put the warm 87 and the 47 Junior on these two stands. My plan is to put the warm 87 as a mono overhead and I plan to put the 47 Junior in front of the drums and capture that punch of the kit. Probably wondering why I'm holding this water bottle. As I said in one of my previous videos, it is summertime here in Nashville. This is day two of filming this video and guess what? The AC unit in my part of the studio has gone out and it is hot as Hades in here tonight. But you know what? I got a video to shoot. I got to roll this content out. I think it's going to be fun. Let me go ahead and rock out for you. If there's two things that you'll learn from this channel that are not music related, it's always cut away from yourself and stay hydrated. For those of you that don't know, this is called a shock mount. Some folks may call this a spider mount because it's got four mounts on the top, four on the bottom. What's the purpose of this device? Well, sometimes when you're in the studio, you've got your microphone on a stand and let's say this is in front of my kick drum. You're getting that energy and that bounce traveling from the floor, going up the kick drum stand going through the top of the stand and that energy is flowing throughout the stand causing it to shake and possibly shock. These right here are specially formatted so that it holds that microphone in place and it won't move or cause any extra stress on the stand and that holds things in place giving you ultimately the best smoothest recording possible. Let me show you how to get the 47 Junior installed. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy on the stand. So this one here is the 47 Junior that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put this one in front of the drums on the bottom. So it's going to capture that punch of the kick drum. Okay, so we've got that there. So we'll take your mic goes down like this. And then we just twist this part. Somebody in the hallway is happy. Then we twist this, or you can twist that until it locks into place. Voila, there we go. So I'm gonna take this, adjust it like that. And let's go ahead and put this in front of the kick drum. We'll do the same thing with our warm 87, but that's going over the drum, so it's not gonna be at an angle. Let's go ahead and put this down here. All right, come on in a little closer here. So we'll take my mic, put it about right here. Let's raise that a little bit. There we go. I've got my trusty tape measure from the center of the kick to diaphragm. is right at three and a half feet. I'll go ahead and plug the mic in here and we'll get the warm 87 set up as my overhead. So our warm 87 goes in the shock mount or spider mount the exact same way as the 47 Junior. It goes in like this, and we'll take our part here, the swivel, and turn until things are snug. Sometimes we may have to hold the swivel and just move the mic around. Let's try that approach. There we go. That seems to be working a little bit better. Now we can turn both at the same time. We're getting 
There we go, we're getting some traction. Cool. So this is a rather heavy mic, as you can see. You have to make some adjustments. Let's take that tighten, pull this up. Whoa, so heavy. There we go. Same concept here on the Warm 87 as I use on the 47 Junior. I've got my tape measure out and I'm gonna go three and a half feet. This time, instead of the kick drum, three and a half feet from the middle of the snare to the diaphragm. So that should give us where we've got no phase issues at all. Let me go ahead and plug these in and we'll rock this out. Brand new cables, brand new mics, Let's do this. For those of you that are loyal and consistent viewers, I appreciate you. If you haven't seen some of my videos when I'm setting up things in the back and I said that I hoard these, you need to watch that video. You can catch that link right up here. Let's go ahead and plug these in and do this. Are you a hoarder? What do you hoard? As I stated, I hoard these, I keep twist ties, and I keep boxes. Let me know what you hoard in your life. Do you keep boxes? How long? What kind of boxes? Do you use them to uh, resell products? Let me know in those comments. So check this out. I was setting up my tripod just a minute ago, and yeah, the screw is stripped. So, I don't know how I'm gonna get footage, but you know what? Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna become a Studio MacGyver. I'm gonna find a way. Oh, I have, let me show you. I have electrical tape. I think I've got some gaff tape in here too. Let's see what I can rig. So this may or may not work, let's see. My goal is to have this camera facing my drums back there. Let's see if I can take this in place and hold this up here. Probably not, but we'll try it. Let's see. Okay, so I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's see if this holds up for the rest of this video. Well, dang guys, I was trying to engineer this project myself but I'm having issues with the internet if you don't know this I've said it a thousand times the internet at this facility is booty I'm having a hard time getting this to connect to my Mac mini I was gonna use the Focusrite app to try and track things over here by myself but like I said I'm a studio MacGyver I'll figure this out I guess man it's really flipping hot in here. I'm starting to sweat like an elephant. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Okay, let's try this. Engineer, somebody, please. I'm in a session, I need some help. Can somebody please just help me? This is just great. The drumstick's about to snap. My internet's not working. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this video, guys. I want you to really hear the Warm 87 and the 47. I just... Baby Jesus, would you please just show up or send me a sign? Whoa, what's up, man? Are uh, you okay, man? You all right, bro? How I did mean, you get back in here? I ran into a friend of mine in the hallway and as I was leaving, I heard what I thought was maybe a grown man whimpering or crying. I thought I'd 
check on you to see if you're okay. Yeah, I mean, I did say I wanted to collab with you. Yeah, but man, of course. I Paul, didn't know you'd fifth. be like, yeah, man, stalking me. You're an engineer, right? Producer? Of course I'm an engineer and producer. Trusting? I got you, bro. What are we doing? Tracking drums? Well, I do need some help tracking these drums, man. Would you be down to help me out with this? All right, cool. I got you. You said you, I mean, you said that I mean, you wanted to collab, collab right? Me. Let's do this, bro. You good? You trust All me? All right, man. Let's, uh, of course he should let's trust give it a go. Me. He's my twin brother. All right, cool, man. I appreciate you, Paul. Let Number me four. check things out. Let's do this, man. Yo, you good? Am I able to do that move, or is that your signature move, Paul? The fifth, fifth, fifth. Either way, can you hear yourself? You good? You, you straight? Uh, yes. Thank you, Paul the Fourth, for showing up and saving the day. I can hear myself. Let's do this, man. All right, cool. You ready? Let's do this. drumstick within the first two measures and it really threw me off but you gotta see this guys oh my gosh this is crazy not planned check it not making this up this flew out of this two measures two measures into that performing and I was off my timing. It was hard to play with a half a stick. I'm not gonna really edit that much, but <laughs> that was hella fun. Thanks Paul the Fourth for helping me out with engineering this project and you did a good job. Much heart, much love, much respect for you. All right, let's, uh, let's keep moving on here. Say, Paul the Fifth, would you mind if I jammed out on your drums for a little bit? I really like them. It's a pretty cool setup. And if you can't tell, I really like the color blue. Ah, so the roles are reversed. The script has been flipped, I see, huh? Of course, you want to play my drums? Yeah, how about it? Let's see. Uh, let me check out your talent. Let's do this, bro. Let's go. Thank you so much for saving the day today. Paul the Fifth, I think that we successfully made it through that session. I'm proud of you. 
you stuck it through, you kept the faith, and we made it happen. What'd you think, guys? You know, you're right. Sometimes I look down yeah, on myself man. when I it's should always be looking about keeping a little bit of faith in your potential. And heart, man, I'm never giving up and star. always trusting. Thanks for giving me that reassurance, yeah, man. man, Paul. I really appreciate See, it. Good things happen when you man. I needed that. Look up. I needed you. Never give up and help others up. That's what I was able to do for you today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's my younger brother Paul, the fourth. We thank All you right, so much ladies for and watching gents, today. Appreciate I you watching you so much. Today's content. You know who he and is. My name is Paul, the fourth. Mike, and he's that's right. And my name is Paul, the fifth.